Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for a take it's been a long time pixel s friends for the not 2 did not got the update but on the 16th may 2022 sakil mondal and the team has released a new amazing update for our device great news is that the twrp recovery is now official i have given the link of the new twrp use that twrp to flash the rom soon the pixel s friends rom will be official as the aos p extended is already got official now Today in this video we will see what the new improvement has been done in the rom they also implemented the new camera application in the rom we will thoroughly check out that also now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure i will not show the installation here you can watch that from the right set card video if you are already on the pixel s friends rom you can dirty flash the update via twrp without formatting the data Here I flash the ROM in a TWRP and formatted data as I'm coming from the stock ROM, and then rebooted to the system. ROM booted with the signature boot animation of Pixel S Friends ROM. After completing the setup, we'll directly go to the bot phone to check what's new thing we get in the update. This is the Android 12.1 or 12L with the old Easter egg of Android 12. Security patch is updated to 5th May 2022. So this is the first custom rom with all the latest update included. Another great news is that the rom comes with the stable Linux kernel 4.14.378 plus. So the performance and the stability of the rom will definitely improve. This rom is built on 16 May 2022. Now let's check what fixes has been done in the update. The main annoying thing in the old build is that when you tries to unlock using the under display fingerprint, there was sudden high brightness issue which was fixed now. Now while unlocking there will be no high brightness will be seen. Now ROM comes with the new Google Co camera application by the Shamim. This new cam has some amazing feature but some features are missing also. Camera has new filter option, portrait mode, Google Translate, night mode and HDR mode. Quality of pictures are very good in the clear light condition. Portrait mode pictures taken with the main camera is very good but the selfie cam portrait modes are broken. There will be no any blur effect in the selfie camera pictures. Wide angle camera modes are also not working. Video shooting doesn't have any slow motion or the time lapse options. Camera has Snapchat face emoji which is really cool feature. There are bunch of emojis are available in the camera to choose. Camera has inbuilt barcode scanner also. Camera filter option is available but it's not working. So for the slow motion, timeless and the 4K recording missing features, I installed the Gcam mod by the Shamim. The link of the app is given in the video description. This camera has most of the features working like the night light portrait shots but the similar to the Gcam Go selfie cam portrait shots are also not working here slow motion and the time lapse both are works perfectly in the camera here is a sample video for the slow motion mode Panorama mode and the photosphere modes both are working in the camera. Only Google Lens feature will not work in this camera build, so you can use the Gcam Go to use this feature. HDR Plus mode is working, and surprisingly, 4K 60fps recording is working seamlessly in this camera build. I tried to enable the auxiliary camera setting via additional setting of the camera application, but it's causing the force close up camera application. So no more wide angle camera shooting will be available. To make the camera app work again you need to wipe the application data so my suggestion is to stay away from this setting camera has the social media share tab within the camera which is helpful to share the picture instantly within the camera application so you can use both of this camera application to get most out of the missing things together next fix by the team is the android 12 battery widget to access this new widget you need to install the setting service application from the link given under the video description Now this battery widget can be applicable via widget section it will show you the battery status of device along with the all the bluetooth devices connected we can jump to the device setting or the battery stat by just tapping on the widget here it's showing the device and my oppo earphones battery status together if you disconnect the bluetooth device is still showing its status in the widget another fix in the new build is for the two buttons navigation gesture while using this there is a missing rotation icon which is now visible ROM now updated with the live translate data and all the Google applications are updated to the latest version by the default in the ROM. Now it's time to check the performance of the device. So first we will check the device and the battery temperatures. Device temperature this time seems cool about 41 degree Celsius and the battery temperature was 40 degree Celsius. So this time updated kernel and the governors are managing the device temperature very good. 
I ran the Geekbench test and I got the 806 for the single core and for multi core I got 2498 which are not the best score but still they are now closer to the results that were given by the stock Coxinovis ROM. So obviously new stable kernel has lots of the impact on the ROM. After testing the GPU performance on the OpenGL drivers I got 5008 which was higher than my 9RT GPU test results on the custom ROMs. Definitely you will feel the lots of the improvement in the games now. As Snap Safety Net is passing as usual on the every build, so no worry about the security related applications. Widewind security level is L1, so you can watch the Netflix and the Amazon Prime content at full HD resolution. After doing all the tests, CPU temperature somewhat risen to 44 degrees Celsius and 43 degrees Celsius for the battery, which is pretty impressive even after doing the heavy task. So this is all about the new update of Pixel Experience Plus for the Note 2 which is pretty mature now and it's just one step behind to the perfect build as compared to the stock Ox Universe because of the camera. Still now the ROM has a well optimized camera application, you can use the Gcam by the same name along with the Gcam Go application. Battery life is very good in the Pixel Experience, you will definitely get full day battery with the 6-7 to seven hour of SOT. So that's it guys for today, if you think I help you through this video to choose the best custom ROM for the Note 2. Then please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.